Hello and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So let's finish up where we left off. Now we want to know when we are using a barcode scanner as opposed to just a search. So if I go back to my view, uh, that's the home view, there's this part where we created barcode is equal to false. And then if there's an enter key detected, we're going to say barcode is equal to true. Uh, let me find barcode. Okay, there we go. So let's control F to find stuff. Okay, so here barcode becomes true, but we need to set it to false at some point. So once we get the results, then we can set it to false. So here what I'm going to do is, uh, when we get the results, let's see here. Where is handle result? Hey, let's go up here. Handle result. There we go. Okay. So at this point, when we handle result, um, and then products is equal to that data, like this. Okay. So this is okay, whatever we receive, we put there. But what I want is if barcode is true, okay, uh, this is going to, this shows us what the result was. But if barcode is true, we should add at least the first item from here, from the result, okay? So if there is a result, let's add that item, okay? So we are going to, um, let's see, how do we know? We know there's a result if we are here, okay. And then here, if, uh, let's see, dot object is not equal to empty. Um, I think here I should have, um, I should probably have, Hmm. Let me put this here first of all. Let's put an and not object. Wait. Hmm. No, 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 no. This might be a mistake. Okay. The thing is, I want to know when this is the only time that I'm going to add a product. So if things don't go through here, it means I didn't add anything. So let's put an else statement here. Okay. So if we did add something, if we did find something, let's check if barcode is true. So I'll say if barcode, like so. Okay. So if barcode, uh, then what we would do is we know it's a barcode, so what we want to do is add the item to the list. So where is the add item situation here? So this is the add item. Now add item looks for the event. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So that makes things a little bit tricky to do. Okay. Because... Um, Let's see the index there. Uh, this, if that is image, that is. Okay, so let me create, just to simplify things, let me create a second, um, let me create a second, a second function that is just like add item, but Let's change it a little bit. Let's just say add item data. I think eventually I can, um, wait a second here. Add item data. So let's put data there like so. So what I want to do with this is I want to check if item exists. Uh, ID is equal to ID, then items, 
Uh, so this is all pretty standard stuff. Uh, index. Uh, okay, so data. Actually, let's say add item from index. Let's do that. Add item from index. And then here, let's add an index. So I'm going to say index like this. Okay. So what I want to do is copy all of this here. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if I need that. But yeah, I always need it once I add an item. So what I'll do is copy all of this and put it in here. Now, this should work fine because we have an index that we are given here and then check if item exists. So we are doing that uh, items.length and then looking for product with a particular index and then items IDI, refresh items on display, blah, blah, blah. I think this works pretty well. So what I'll do is I'll copy this instead and replace all this with this function right there. So index will work because we have index there. That's okay. Now, the reason I've done this way is because sometimes I want to omit this section here. I just want to go straight to that. But I do need this for when somebody clicks on an item because we need to differentiate. We need to know if it's an image and then grab the index and then use that index here. But there are times when we know the index we want to add of the item. And so we can just add it directly without having to go through checking whether we've clicked on an image or not. So that's that there. So here I just need to see if things are still working as normal. Then I'll know things are good and it seems they are working as intended. Okay, so it seems things are okay. Now I can now I can finally use this add item from index. Um, I can use that now on the handle result situation. So if barcode is true, then let's add an item from index and the index we are adding is zero. The very first item is what we want to add. Okay, from the result, we add the first uh, item. Yes, yes. So I don't know whether it's the first item or the last item, but I guess the first one makes sense. And then here is if we don't find a result, but then barcode is selected, then we should tell the user that the item was not found. So we'll do an alert here and say that item was not found. Okay, great. This way they can know that the item they're trying to add is not part of the stock. Only when we use barcoding. And then finally, we have to set barcode to false regardless what happens. Um, whether we find a result or not, right? Because here we'll go through handle result. Maybe there's an error or whatever, but as long as we are done with this and we get a result, we should set barcode to false. Like this. All right. So let's give it a shot and see. So if I try to search and say, uh, something I know does not exist. I don't get, uh, but I still get these results here, even though there's something I know does not exist here. So this shouldn't happen, but we can fix that. However, let me look at uh, barcodes here. So what I want to do is look at the barcodes. This is one, two, three, four. So there's a barcode one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and press enter. Okay, so that didn't seem to work at all. One, two, three, four. Let's see here, inspect. What item is this anyway? So good. Okay, so 
so unexpected ending uh, this is not good at all json.parse okay so i guess we need to fix how things are working here and um wait a minute wait a minute mm -hmm. so when we try to do this ajax thingy it's not working very well uh, because the result is not ajax so let's see what result we are getting first before we try to handle it so i'm going to go one two three four and we get an empty string okay so at least we can try to check for an empty string before we even try to convert this that way we can avoid one more error so here i'm going to say if let's try it over here before we even get to there if ajax to text is not equal to empty string like this so don't uh, don't trim just to remove the ending and trailing and leading zeros if ajax is not equal to that then let's do this if it's empty then we know that uh, we didn't return any result so that's okay and then here there's a part where we are emptying this uh, div right there so this should happen at the beginning even before we get to this right okay wait a second this should happen together with that so i'm going to remove all this like this and then we'll come to this point so as long as there's a result that we have returned here we should empty uh, these things so let's empty these guys empty the products thingy and then do what we want to do here this way when i um oh my div is not defined in handle result okay so i guess that's a problem so let me copy this um let's see handle result uh, my div is required here because we need to add stuff to it so let me just re read it from there again so i'm going to refresh and clear this go back with a four and then i get no result here which is good that's what i wanted the only difference is when i press enter i want to get the alert that tells me we couldn't find that item so if i go like this and press enter uh, things should work but it doesn't seem like things are working at all because the enter key does not run a search either so that's where the problem is for now this does not trigger a search so it should trigger a search so how do we do that um i can go up here where is this and say search item so e dot target everything will work as it is if i put that e over there so come down here to where we are barcode is equal to true but then let's actually search for an item and let's use that same e over there because it's still an event from the same item okay so let's try that again now we are here and i will just press enter there we go so it doesn't find a result at all which is a problem now that it doesn't find a result it's supposed to tell me that that item was not found but it is not telling me that and that's because if we get an empty string we are not even going to the handle result part here which is what it's supposed to show me this so instead what i'll do is i'll cut this part out let's remove this else statement as well okay so let's go up here now this is uh 
when it finds an empty thing is right there either empty or an error but an error is not good empty means item was not found anything else means an error so instead let's just put an else statement right here okay uh, then let's move this inside so if handle result uh, if this is not empty we will do that in fact i should have just checked if it's empty i run this and then else do a handle result but it's the same thing here uh, if barcode is true then say that item was not found all right so let's refresh and let's try this one more time i'll press enter and say that item was not found okay very good let's do that let's try omo and then press enter so in this case there's only one result right and then it's been added here so because i've pressed enter there it has been added automatically so if i press enter again it adds the same item here so let me try with o like this so o has two items and if i press enter it adds the first item here the first result so if i use enter that first result is added i would have uh, preferred maybe to only uh, make the enter thing work if i only have one result because then i'm sure what i'm adding here but that's entirely up to you you can check the length before adding which uh, the adding process happens here add from index and if you want you can check you can say if barcode and then you can say and uh, products uh, where is this yes products dot length is equal to one then you add okay so if both those things are true which means if i search for omo like this and press enter it will add omo because there's only one result if i press um let me refresh here if i just press o it has two results and if i press enter nothing happens right but then if i put double o then there's only one item remaining if i press enter it will add that item again and again so this is simulating a uh, barcode scanner so a scanner when you're using a scanner that's when you have the enter key going going for you and the reason it works is because the barcode is very specific so if the barcode is one two three four there won't be another another item with that barcode so there will always be one result when you scan with the barcode and then the enter key will work boom but now this item is not there so now we should fix the problem of why this item is not showing up when we know very well that we have a barcode with exactly that code there so let's try and fix that.